I just finished 75 days in the gym. 75 days straight. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Novel Crown because I love bags, purses, and all things novelty. Now 75 days does seem like a long time, especially when you're on day five and you have no idea how you're gonna get through 70 more. Well, one of the things that I did is I took away a lot of excuses that I had. So imagine your last 75 days. I mean, some of the days you were busy, some of the days you were running from place to place, some of the days you just didn't feel like doing whatever you had to do. Well, one of the things for me is as I was going through the 75 days, I noticed that some days I might not have been able to get to the gym at the time that I really wanted to. And I had to squeeze it in between a meeting or, you know, something I had to go do or another obligation. And so I didn't want anything to be an excuse. I didn't want to say, oh, well, I don't have gym shoes, so I can't run to the gym right now to do those 40 minutes. So I'm just going to go home or I don't have a bottle of water or, you know, my contact is itchy and I'll just go home and I'll just figure it out and maybe I'll get back out to the gym. I didn't want those excuses. So yes, I have a pretty packed bag right now and I'm gonna show you guys this bag um, and just kind of share with you some of the things that really helped me stay in the gym, that really helped um, keep me um, going, keep me motivated, and hopefully it'll help some of you guys. So first I wanna show you the bag. So I got this bag off of Amazon and it wasn't that much. I wanna say it was around 30, I think less than 35 maybe $33 something like that but it's a really nice bag I really like it it's really sturdy there's plenty of room there's a compartment right here you know the type of compartment for shoes and things like that here is the front of the bag that's what that looks like there's a little like plate right here and it says waiters I think that's what it says but I'll link this bag below if anyone is interested in um, like if you're looking for a gym bag there is a nice zipper compartment right here that I'll show you guys in a second there's a zipper on top here is the back of the bag there is like air vents right here for your shoes you know just in case you know you just took your shoes off and they're all sweaty that um, at least helps the ventilation so that your shoes or whatever you have in there can get some air there is a zipper compartment right here and then there's like this little I guess it's called what a trolley band you know when you um, put your bag down on a um, what is it called like a travel on or a carry-on um, suitcase and you just put that over the handle it has a water bottle pocket right here and it has another one right there so i really like the bag so i think the color is really pretty they had a lot of different colors um they had like blue and i think purple and black and different colors so i'll link it if you're interested and you're looking for a bag or something to just carry your things in this is actually a really great bag so yes this bag is pretty packed but I just repacked it because I am actually going to do another 75. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, I'm going to go back in one more time because I would spent a lot of time not exactly knowing what to do, not knowing what my body needed, not knowing which machines to get on or what you know weights to do and so since I spent that time I want to say the first like three or four weeks really trying to figure out everything and trying to figure out a routine I want to go back into it one more time and really hone in on the things that I learned and just to kind of um, do it all over again but um, really hit everything that I really need to hit starting from the beginning and also I didn't do very well taking my pictures and I want to take pictures a little bit better along the way to kind of um, just record like some of the things that I was doing um, and also like take measurements a little bit better so yes I am going back into another 75 days now I will post some um some pictures on Instagram if anyone is interested and want to just kind of check out some of the progress that I've made so far. And also, I think I will start posting um, either videos or pictures of things um, as I go through this next 75 and as I learn more and as I get more things that are working for me, just to kind of let you guys know. So in the front of this 
um, bag. Let me show you. So in here, I have my shower shoes and they're just in this bag right here and they're just some normal flip-flops. They're just in a little Tom's bag. So just in case I'm running from place to place and I really need to squeeze in a workout because um, I don't have any other time to do it, I can run, get a workout, and if I have to shower, I have my shower shoes with me. And then on the front right here, I have some pain cream for my muscles just in case I might have worked out a little bit too hard one day and I need something to um, help my muscles um, recover a little bit better or to help with the pain. I have that and that's all that's in here. But just to show you the bag, there is a mesh pocket right here that comes in handy and also this really comes in handy because this is a like a wet pouch so if there's either I don't know I don't actually swim but if anyone like swam or had some um, towels facial towels or anything like that were, that were wet you can easily put that in here and it's not gonna ruin the bag like on the inside okay let me set that up and so on the side right here I have this little bottle now I got this from Etsy and this is one of those bottles that you just put powder in so like if I have a protein drink or a pre-workout that I um, didn't get to have at home, I can just put that in there and I can go have my bottle of water. Now, I usually just keep a bottle of water in here because this is the bottle that I actually use. Now, this is called a Hydrate Spark. So this is one of those bottles where it syncs up with your phone and every drink that you have, like every ounce that you have, it, um, it measures it. And so that you can go online on your on your app on the phone on the hydrate spark app and you can um, look and see how much water you're drinking you can um, do goals they have like say you want to drink so many ounces it'll keep track of all of that for you and i love that because i'm so bad at drinking water i don't know what it is about water like i just don't drink it very well so that's why i have to make sure i keep track of it so you know, through the day, I'm making sure that I'm staying on track and I'm getting all the hydration that I need because hydration is really good for the muscles. You need that to grow your muscles or your muscles aren't gonna grow. So usually I keep my bottle of water right here and I just pour it into my Hydrate Spark just to, so that I can keep track on how many ounces I'm drinking. Now on the other side of the bag, I have my hand sanitizer. This is my Olinka that I usually use on my purses. If you guys um, ever watch any of my purse videos, sometimes I do carry these and I have different colors of those. And this is another um, water bottle pocket. So I can put my Hydrate Spark right here and just my bottle of water on the other side if I want to. And then this is what the inside kind of looks like as a bird's eye view. Oh, hold on, let me show you the back. So there is a zipper pocket right here, like I said, and I keep my sanitizer in here because, you know, when you go to the gym and there's the benches that you sit on, uh, those aren't the most sanitary. So I have this right here just in case I need to sit down or anything like that. I can spray it and sanitize that first. And I use a lot of this. So I keep that right here and I keep it handy before I either sit something on it or, you know, if I just want to sanitize it right quick. Okay, so let me show you guys what I have on the inside. So first, I have this pouch right here. Now this is a, it's just one of those Victoria's Secrets like laundry bags. And on the inside, it just has some clothes because I don't want to have the excuse of, oh, I don't have my gym clothes with me. I can't go to the gym. So I just keep things in here. So I have my t-shirt and just a normal t-shirt, I have some socks, underwear, an extra sports bra, and also I have my leggings. So I wanna show you guys these. Now, no one to told me um, that Costco has leggings and things that aren't very expensive. So these are from, I think it's called Tough Athletics. And I, I wanna say I only pay like $13 for these and they're super soft. They have a pocket on them, which I love. I can keep my phone in there. And I got quite a few pairs of these. They had all different colors. They had black and blue and of course gray. And, and here's the other thing. I didn't realize that if you go early in the morning to Costco, they have like different sections or like, you know how they have tables full of clothes. I, I don't know if you've been, but 
Um, if you haven't been, they have tables um, with all the clothes on it. Now, sometimes the clothes go on sale for like a ridiculous cheap price, like inexpensive, like $3 or $7 or $9. And so if you're there early, I mean, I've gotten like tennis shoes for like $7, tennis shoes for $9, leggings for $3. But yeah, I didn't know that. So I'm going to start shopping Kohl's and you know, I just found that out just like maybe a week ago. So I've been going to Costco just to see what I can find. But yeah, I really like these um, tough athletics and going to the gym 75 days in a row you go through a lot of laundry and so like I said I got quite a few of these so if you're looking for some leggings that are quick and easy and have a little pocket yeah try Costco if you have one around okay so the next thing I have is just a towel and this is just an old towel that I have just in case I'm sweaty or anything like that I have that with me I do have my bath towel so just in case I have to shower either if you know I'm leaving the gym and I and I need to get to somewhere else I don't want to go there sweaty so I have a towel just in case I have to shower I have my case and this is my electronics case because sometimes so one of the things that I have been doing at the gym is the stairs and I actually can now do I went from only being able to do maybe like 200 stairs or 100 stairs I want to say just a few minutes <laughs> but I am up to now being able to do a 1,000 stairs so I got to a thousand stairs and I have to have music music sometimes is the only thing that gets me up those stairs and this is my um my earbuds i know i've shown this on a couple of uh, videos but i love this um, earbud because it's i love the case and this is one of the things that i got my, for myself as i was doing the 75 um, days in the gym and it's just earbuds but the case is really cool because you can like there's all kinds of little settings and little things that you can do on the case and also you can find your, ear, your earbuds, it'll ping it like wherever the, earbud, the earbuds are. And I really like that. And I have my charger just in case I need to charge either my phone or my earbuds, I can do that. And just my cord and also I have my Apple Watch charger because I rely on my Apple Watch a lot um, to help me keep track with some of my workouts and my heart rate and things like that. So I really like to have my Apple Watch charged. And that's pretty much all that's in here, just my cord. And this right here is a Victoria's Secrets pouch. It's just one of those little pouches. You know how you get sometimes like, you get like two pouches in one or you get like the trio of pouches. So let's see. Okay, here's another Victoria's Secrets pouch. And this one has my contacts case and um, something for my eyes. I've noticed that sometimes when I'm working out really hard and I'm sweating and sweat might maybe get to my eyes, uh, my eyes tend to get irritated. So I've been using um, eye drops sometimes. I have a nail clipper. There's nothing worse than having a snagged hangnail or something when you're trying to work out. And I have a little hair tie for my hair. Okay, let's see what's in here. So I have, this is my uh, band bag. Now I do use this sometimes for the floor when I go out on the floor and I need my bands because it has a little, um, little strap right here that I can carry the bag easily with. And this actually came with the bag. So I thought that that was really cool that it comes with a bag, it comes with a little cosmetic case, but I'm using it for a band bag. And so one of the things I have in here is my, this is, um, what do you call this? It's like, it goes around your belly to help you um, sweat a little bit more, like a sweat band. I got this from Marshalls. It wasn't that much. I want to say it was maybe like $9. But when you put it on, it's like this material on the inside. And it helps you as you're working out, it helps you sweat a little bit more and helps you, you know, kind of help um, like lose fat around the belly. So I like wearing that sometimes when I'm doing, and I mostly only use this when I'm doing cardio. And for me, cardio, I do um, stairs, the row machine, and the treadmill. Those are pretty much my cardio. And then I just have my bands in here. So I have, this is for um, ankles or when I'm using the cables or like the cable pulleys and you just hook it on and you um, put this around your ankle and you're able to use the cables for whatever weights you're doing 
And then also I have my band right here and this band goes around the thighs and it helps gives a little bit of resistance when you're doing certain exercises like um, squats and things like that. And I got this kit off of, um, off of Amazon. So the kit came with the um, pulley things for your ankles. It came with the bands and it also came with, actually I'll show that to you in a minute because it came with one of the pillows for the, for the um, barbell when you wanna do squats or things like that. And the other thing that's in here is my gloves. So if you wanna start lifting weights, I highly recommend getting gloves because I started getting, like, I don't know if you could see, like, yeah, you could see right there. I started getting like little calluses and I was like, okay, it's time to get gloves. And I really like these ones because they're really thin, but there's like cushion right there for um, your palms. And let's see, I got these off of Amazon as well. So I'll link um, these particular gloves. If you're looking for a pair of gloves, I really like these ones. They really come in handy for me. So that's all that's in here. And then this just goes with the, um, the pulley bands. So. Yeah, I thought that that was really cute, a cute little bag that came with the um, the duffel bag. Okay, so the next thing I have is my snack container. I know you guys have seen this many times. This is from Timu, and actually it is a makeup brush holder, but as you guys know, I use it for a snack container, and it just has my snacks, and it's one of those things that I really need with me for the gym because I don't want to... Like I said, I needed to take away all excuses that I could, and being hungry is definitely an excuse to not want to go with, um, to the gym, so I make sure that I have my bars in here just in case I'm, you know, wanting to snack on something, and I'm at the gym, and I'm hungry, and just not feeling what, like working out. I know I can grab something out of my um, duffel bag, and I also have my glasses in here. So this is, this case is from... Uh, Bobby, Bobino? I don't know. I've had this for like ever. And honestly, I don't remember where I got it from. I can try to look for a link for it. But anyways, you just pull it out and it's just my glasses right here. Just in case there's ever a time where I'm either, you know, sweating and, you know, something happens to my contact. I don't want the excuse that I can't see so I can't work out. So I'll always make sure I have a pair of glasses. Okay, so the next thing I have, this is my Victoria's Secrets case. And here are some things that have really helped me in the gym. And one of the things I wanna show you guys is, you see these right here? So I know they say, I know they say hemorrhoidal wipes. However, when you're in the gym every single day, or even if you're just in the gym one day, when you're sweaty, sweat does not smell good. On anybody so one of the things that I actually learned from another um, person I was watching um, their video and I, I honestly don't remember who t who uh, put this up but if you take something with witch hazel and that's the reason I have these hemorrhoidal wipes now they're not I don't use them for hemorrhoids I use them for the witch hazel and they're just a, a really quick easy way to um, and very convenient way to to carry it with me um, in these preparation H packets. But the witch hazel, if you rub this, like say you go to the bathroom and you, you know, you clean up however, you know, your your method of cleaning, and then you take the wipe and you wipe over yourself either of your butt crack or, you know, in the folds, you know, the folds of your thighs, you know, in your groin area, this really helps. I think, at least I think it does. Um, I've used these, I want to say for most of my gym days, and it's a big difference because I feel fresh the whole time. I still feel clean. I don't feel like I'm just sweating and, and can't wait to, you know, go and shower. I mean, obviously, you know, I go and shower, but these definitely help cut down on, you know, just feeling, you know, not as comfortable. And so if you're looking for something, you might want to try it. It's the witch hazel um, hemorrhoidal wipes, or you can just get a bottle of witch hazel and, and, you know, some tissue if you want. I just think that this is just a convenient way to stay fresh um, during your gym days, or, you know, even if you're just sweaty and hot and, you know, you're outside, it might help. At least it helped me. 
Okay, so the next thing I have are, I keep these facial towels, and this is what it is. And I got these off of Amazon, but I love them. They're, it says clean towels, extra large, and it's just, see how many I've used? I'm almost out of them, actually. But yeah, they're just a really, it's a really nice, soft towel, and it's very sturdy. So look how big that is. And so, you know, when you wash your face or, you know, you have a, a traditional washcloth, and all the bacteria that's in those. These right here, it's like a fresh towel for your face or for your body like every time. So I keep these in my gym bag just in case, you know, on the one occasion or two occasions that I need to shower, I have fresh towels in my bag. And when I'm done, I can just throw this out. I don't have to worry about carrying it back home or anything like that or any bacteria um, that's been harboring on, you know, washcloths. So I love these. You guys should try these. I like them a lot. Okay, so the next thing I have are these, actually, these are large body wipes. Now, I got this packet. I got these packets from um, the Dollar Tree. So, they're only $1.25, but it's the Yardley London um, disposable washcloths, but they're really nice washcloths, and actually, I bought a, quite a few of these packs. I have one I'm gonna say in my car, I have one at home, I have one, I have a couple of packs at the gym just in case I run out or just in case I need to carry my bag and I forget to put them back in there. I always have these with me. I can just wipe like my um, face or my hands or my neck or whatever. But look how big that is. And it's, it's quite damp and you know, it smells good. It feels good on the body. So I really like these. So if you can find these at the Dollar Tree and you're looking for a nice substantial wipe, I think these are really great. The next thing I have is my deodorant. You know, you always need that. I have some tooth placards just in case. I have, I think I've shown this before. So I have the restroom kit. It says protect your butt. Um, because, you know, when you're at the gym and those, the bathroom facilities might not, you know, have everything you need in there. I have lotion. Keep my skin nice and moist. I have my shower gel, just in case I do need to take a shower while I'm there. I have my face wash, just in case I need to, you know, get all cleaned up. And I do have some hand sanitizing wipes, and I can use these to wipe other things while I'm at the facility. Um, while I'm in the showers, I can wipe off things that, you know, um, knobs or whatever I need to wipe off. I have that. I have some lip gloss. I have a Victoria's Secret spray. Now, I've had this for a while. It's called Sky Filter. I don't know if you guys have seen that. I haven't seen this scent in a while, but I really like it. And also, just in case, I have a um, little case that has band-aids in it. And I did this, um, get this one from the Dollar Tree. And it's just a really convenient little band-aid case. And this case right here came from Victoria's Secrets. And it actually came with this right here. I think it might have come with another one. But yeah, it's just really handy to take to the gym. Okay, so that is all that's in there. And this is what the inside of this bag looks like. This is a mesh pocket right here and a mesh pocket on this side. And also there is two pockets on this side as well, if I ever needed to put something in there. So there's actually some good organization in here. If you're looking for a gym bag, you can put stuff right here and stuff in the, in the middle of it. Let me show you on the bottom. So there is my shoes and these are these are one of the pair of shoes that I told you about at Costco so at Costco these were like seven dollars they're you know and they're just some uh, they have nice rubber rubber soles I don't know what's going on with the soles of shoes there's they seem so slippery to me lately like there's not like like they're not made out of rubber I don't know what they're made of like foam or something but anyways I got these just so I can keep in my gym bag I mean they're not the greatest of shoes but they're very comfortable and if I'm ever in a pinch I do have shoes like I don't have to have that excuse like oh I don't have gym shoes I can't you know I can't gym today and the last thing I have and this is um, what I was telling you so this is the neck pillow that came with my bands um, that I use at the gym and so this pillow for those of you who don't know it goes on the barbell that you put kind of like on your neck like on your back when you do squats 
And so the bar just goes through there and you put this onto the bar and then it's much more comfortable instead of having a big, hard, cold bar on your neck for you to be able to do squats. And so, yeah, this is actually, actually very handy. Now they do have one at the gym that is kind of a communal one and I don't like to use that one. So I ended up getting my own and I'll post the link to this if anyone is ever interested or looking for a little neck pillow. Well, actually it comes with the kit. So if you're looking for the kit, I'll post that for you. But yeah, that is what is all that is in this bag. I really do like the bag. It's really nice. It's really handy. But um, back to my 75 days. So I will be starting another 75 days, like I said, tomorrow. I'm very excited to start the second 75 days so that I can really hone in on the things that I'm looking to do and just to be able to do it. You know, I'm I'm proud of myself. I really am. I'm really proud of myself. And so let me know if you guys are on your own journey or if you need any um, information on any other things that I've been doing. Um, I'll try to um, post another couple of videos during my next 75 so I can show you guys some of the things that I'm using, um, some of the th new things that I might be using or things that might not be working for me anymore. And definitely, if you have any tips or if you have any information, one of the things that I'm actually looking for is um, other places to get leggings and, and workout clothes. So if you know of any places like that, or if you know of any places that have good sales or anything, I mean, I know Costco is really great, but I would like to venture out and find some other places. And so if you know of any of those things, or if you have any tips for the gym, please let me know. Give me um, a comment. And as always, thank you guys for those who have been rolling with me, those who are new, and those who are just looking. I appreciate you watching my video. And as always, I'll see you again on my next video. Bye!